Hey everyone, this is part two of my super exciting haul that um, I was working on. It was Amazon at the door. In case you hadn't seen the other video, I was interrupted. Heard the doorbell and had to run out there. And I don't have a very good editing um, program, so I can't just pause my camera. Oh, my camera, I don't know how to pause it. <laughs> this big old beautiful camera. I don't know how to pause it. So I had to just do a part two, which I needed to do anyway because that other video I'm pretty sure was gonna be too long. So. Um, where are we? We are looking at an item that Coach put, one of the beautiful retail items, one of the many older style retail items that Coach just randomly put on their site, on their Coach Outlet site, <clears throat> which is coachoutlet.com. They put it in their, um, the previous factory online sale. Not the one that's going on right now. I believe there's one going on right now. Not this one. This was like five or six days ago. And, um... Yeah, this was one of the many, many, many retail items that they that they dropped on the on the site. They had the crocodile rogue that we had the like hunter green, um, a dark olive or moss, moss. I think it was moss. We haven't seen that in years either. So uh, I don't know what the heck they're doing, but it looks like they're cleaning house. They are cleaning that warehouse out, and they had about ten. I'm guessing they had a handful of these, not too too many, but um. This is, again, the Rogue 25. This is, hold on, here's the official. It, it's the Whip Stitch Snakeskin Rogue 25, and the color is black cream. Black, of course, and cream. Oh, this thing is so gorgeous, it's so gorgeous. Um, as I was saying in the other, the other video, the previous video, smooth leather all the way around, black everywhere except the stitching and the cream the cream um, snake skin, black cream snake skin, or gray, that looks more like gray cream. But um, the hardware is black copper, and let's take you around again. Whip stitch on the front. The snake skin panels um, don't go, they don't go um, across the bottom, which why would they do that? That would be very ridiculous. Oh, the bottom, as you can see, has those leather strips. This is an older style. This was made in 2016. I absolutely love the older rogues. To me, they just, I'm sorry, they feel better. They feel better. One of the reasons they feel better is because they're so old and they've, they've, they've been able to, um, to um, get softer and age a little bit, even, without, even by just sitting on the, um, on the shelf. So here's the back. The back looks exactly like the front. These are curly because of um, the fact that I just, it, it was just shipped to me. I just received it yesterday, yesterday evening. So I need to straighten these out, but here are the, these are the whip stitch, uh, the snakeskin panels with whip stitching. I don't know what to call it officially. With black copper hardware, smooth leather. And as I, as I was saying in the other video, some, the smooth leather feels, this is gloved hand leather if I'm not mistaken. This is gloved hand. The other smooth leather rogues that they've done They've done a couple of Rogue shoulders in smooth leather and Rogue 31s in smooth leather, but I don't believe, I don't believe it's glove tan leather on the outside. I'm not even actually sure this is glove tan leather on the outside. I think it is though. It feels like glove tan leather. The other smooth leathers feel more like calf, refined calf or something. I don't know. Don't quote me. It could all be glove tan. It could all not be. So I don't know. Coolest thing about this bag, well, one of the coolest things is the black suede interior. This is one of the things that I'm so excited about. I love black suede interior because, I mean, you can't find your stuff in there because it's so dark. I mean, it's hard to find your stuff when my phone is, I only carry my phone in here and only sometimes in an emergency when I have to hurry, like very quickly put it in when I'm shopping or something or um, take it out, put it in, whatever. I put it in there. But, um, that area doesn't generally get used, so I don't I don't need to see a whole lot in, in there anyway. But this at the top, this part, this part, this part, this part, those get dirty. They can they can get dirty. Mine haven't because I'm very careful with my bags and I rotate them very frequently. But um, I have seen some bad looking suede in the rogues and um, black, dark blue. What else? Uh, ox blood, the really dark ox blood interiors. They don't show a whole lot. So I love it, especially black. Black does not. Prussian, my Prussian Blue Rogue has black interior, I believe, but I don't know of very many others that did. Um, there's black interior suede on here, in here. 
I'm gonna do a video on this bag by itself. So I'm just gonna keep taking you through the bag. Here is one of the coolest things ever. Attention to detail, guys. This is insane. <sighs> you would think that the other side of this panel here is just cream and black, right? No, coach had to be interesting. They had to put red snake skin on the other side. Look at that, you see that? <laughs> Why? Why did they do it? I love it so much. I love it. Oh, and by the way, the snake skin is not glued down. The whip stitch is what keeps the snake skin um, attached to the bag. And I know this because um, here at the North Park Mall, Hannah, the Master Crafts woman, um, does this. She, they customize. Coach customizes, um, I mean, snake skin panel with whip stitching is one of the customizations. It's the most expensive customization generally. They have um, a number of colors in little panels like this. That's what I'm calling them, strips, whatever you want to call them. Um, they have snakeskin and python. Python, they have a beautiful red python, and I believe it is about 360 for one side to get to be done. And that's because snakeskin is pretty expensive. So, uh, it's very expensive, but it's it's definitely possible to, um, come on. It's definitely possible to, um, have have your items customized mainly dinkies i think i've seen them do i haven't seen them do any rogues but um i was considering trying to get a rogue done but now i don't have to because i have this rogue Woo! so excited but to uh to do snake skin i believe it was 160 for one side so this would be and this is just basic snake skin this is not python if i'm not mistaken oh yeah the tag says snake skin so it's not python the tag would say python if it was python the price tag but um, this would be, uh, the pricing may be off, but 160 for this side, if I got a, custom, if I got a bag customized like this, 160 for this side. And um, yeah, that's, that's a whole lot of money. That's a lot of money. So this was like $320 uh, worth of um, customization. But it looks so, so good. It looks so good. The interior looks just like every other every other rogue oh excuse me excuse me let me show you these plain black everything on this bag is black the straps are plain black with black copper that's it and with the gold the gold honey stitching that's it this bag is just black and cream with that honey gold stitching yep so i love it so much and now i need to move on to the other two items i mean what could be better than this item actually i don't i don't necessarily like the others better i am more impressed with I could be more impressed with that one that I just showed you, the snake skin. But um, I wanted to show you these. Also, these are the pre-owned items that I purchased from eBay. One of them was purchased with the help of a friend. Another one I purchased directly um, by myself with, you know, just from, from a seller on eBay. First one. This bag has been on my list for quite a while. Does it look familiar? I've already, I've already done a video on a bag on an oxblood bag rogue 31 with prairie rivets i've already done a video Ooh, that looks good but that one had little i don't know the name of the um stud but it looks from a distance it looks like a pearl like a pearl that's been flattened against the bag this is the i mean that was a 2017 version of this bag this is the first original version this is the 2016 version of the rogue 31 with prairie rivets and this has the exact same uh, setup, the exact same rivet setup, except instead of those, um, I don't know the name of them, oh, I always forget the name, it starts with a C. Instead of those little pearl-like rivets or whatever, they're about the size of that, but they stick out a little more, they have gold pyramids, they have the gold pyramid stud, like that. And also the other difference is that the stitching is, um, the stitching on the other one was rose, Colored, this stitching is that um, <clears throat> coaches most used color for their rogue stitching, and that is the, um, or one of the most used, that honey color. Also the interior is oxblood instead of, um, actually that's Bordeaux, instead of bright red. I, I wanted this one because um, I actually didn't like those, uh, the pearl rivets very much. But I love the gold pyramid, and I love that the fact that the gold is here. I love mixing hardwares, and that just looks so good to me. But here's the bag. This I just stumbled upon. I hadn't been searching for it for very long, and I just found it. I mean, it just popped up on eBay for a pretty decent price, and it had not been used much at all. The only wear is the um, 
storage. I mean, it had, hadn't been stored correctly, so it's got a little, has a couple of wrinkles and a little, uh, the handle imprint there, but um, I don't care about that. This bag is supposed to slouch and it will eventually slouch after I use it. So um, that'd be great. The, the feet barely have any um, wear at all on them. So, oh, the bottom, a couple of the bottom rivets have, have a little bit of wear, but that, that could happen with a brand new bag too. It's just an old bag. It's just been here a while. So yeah, here is the bag. I added my own little hang tag, oxblood hang tag that I've had monogrammed. I love it. Love it, love it. I love the Oxblood with Bordeaux trim. Absolutely love it. Uh-huh. So that's that. And here is the most surprising one of all. I saw this and I've been wanting this for a very long time. It probably is not everybody's cup of tea, but I absolutely love it. I have a little black, a, Rogue, a black Rogue 17 with this same print. And here it is. Not the black one. This is, this is the new one. This is the floral bow print and the um the size is uh 25 the row 25 and i found it on ebay and again a friend helped me because it was it was from overseas and so a friend she kind of walked me through the process and all that kind of stuff and helped me a lot in um acquiring this the seller um the it's a seller in japan again and um they said that it's in very great condition this thing doesn't look like it had been used this is in such great condition perfect condition um, we uh, uh, um, the US offered this and I believe every color except this color they have um, ice pink ice purple I think black um, yellow a yellow a pink a regular like bold pink that's like a, the old peony color what else they have pale green um, can't remember the others, but they, they had a whole lot. They offered a whole lot of colors in this floral bow print, but not this color. And I don't know if there were any other colors that, that were exclusive to the region, you know, the Japan, Hong Kong, Taiwan region, which is what this, I believe this was an exclusive of um, that region, but I think the UK might have had a little also. But um, I'm super excited about this. I'm, I'm like, I'm getting, I'm out of breath because I'm excited and talking too much. So... <laughs> Anyway, um, I was so excited to see this on eBay. I've seen it before, just never, they kind of looked a little beat up. This is an old bag. I think it was made in, I can't remember actually, 2016 or 17. 17, I think. I think that's what the uh, creed in the, the inside of the bag says. But um, Bordeaux is the other color, the hang tag and the, uh, the suede. This color, it's just called orange. It was not, I could tell from the pictures, it was not light saddle. It was not 1941 saddle. And it's not butterscotch. I could not tell for the life of me. And I got conflicting information online. Got conflicting information online. The underside of the handles are light saddle. So it's definitely not saddle. It's more orange. And um, when, um, when I saw pictures... It kind of looks like gifting orange to me. It looked like gifting orange. Here's a little card case that I have. Gifting orange. This is a vermilion. This is gifting orange right here. It's very close. Super, super close. But this is slightly deeper than the card case. So I'm guessing, I mean, gifting orange is definitely the closest color. And I was so glad to have this gifting orange card case so that I could, uh, you know, kind of help distinguish the color. But um, a friend of mine in the group, um, found the, the listing on the Taiwan site and it says orange. It's orange. The color is orange, but it's actually like, it's like a brown orange. There's more brown in it than just a typical orange. So I really love it. Oh, it also looks close to bamboo online. Some pictures do, but in person, I think bamboo is a little more tan. It has more brown in it. So yeah, I absolutely love this. I love it so much. I'm probably most, of all these rogues, probably most excited about this one and the snakeskin. I don't know though. They're all so great. Yeah, I just wanted to show you all these. I wanted to show these to you because I'm so excited about them. But, um, oh, in, in part one, I did say that um, the coach, I, I talk about a, a group 
<clears throat> excuse me, I talk about a Facebook group that I'm a part of and there are a couple of thousand members and we have so much fun sharing pictures and um, <clears throat> we are mostly into Coach 1941, the Coach 1941 collection. And tomorrow there, we're having a 24 hour open membership. Generally we, we close membership because um, we kind of want to grow gradually and not have too much crazy, crazy stuff happen. Um, which happens with groups, Facebook groups, when you've got a ton of people in any kind of group, a ton of strangers together, stuff can happen. So we want to kind of gradually grow. And so we get to know each other and then we open up, we get to know new members, then we um, close membership, then we open up membership, um, and then close membership so that, you know, we can get to know people gradually. So tomorrow, if I'm not mistaken, Super Bowl Sunday, we are having an open membership for 24 hours and I believe it's tomorrow I believe it's tomorrow that'd be bad if I put this video out and then everyone's rushing to the group and um, it's not even open tomorrow that'd be bad I think it's tomorrow guys I believe it's tomorrow but um yes yeah, so if you can come join us the group is coach gone rogue on Facebook and we uh, it's such a long title that um, the administrators kind of shortened the title to CGR colon chat and sell and that's on Facebook so come join us all right y'all this is it I just I'm I'll be doing videos on these three bags separately because I really want to show you more up close um, views of the bags and I'll answer any questions that you have if I can all right take care of yourselves I hope you have a fantastic rest of the weekend bye